All right, my dashers, here we are. I am leaving home base and we are headed to the Grand Canyon, then uh, Conco, California, Julian, California, and Walsenburg, Colorado. Uh, so we have a few meetups we're gonna go do and I'm about to hit the road just a little bit early to spend a little bit time in uh, the Grand Canyon. So let's go for the ride. Come on. As I passed the Sam Houston statue on Interstate 45, I head to my favorite spot, Bucky's. For those that don't know what Bucky's is, it's the Mecca for auto travelers. No 18 wheelers allowed. They have the best breakfast burrito called the Beast, chopped brisket sandwich, and delicious burritos. Oh, and of course, gas and clean bathrooms. Anything you really need is at Bucky's. After my tummy is fed and all gassed up, it's time to chase the day. I don't mind the long hours of driving, as it really is the only time that I'm able to go through my thoughts as I'm checking out such beautiful scenery. Man, it's so relaxing. But even my brain needs a break. When I feel that my thoughts can take a breather, audiobooks replaces the silence. It's been my secret weapon to the driving boredom. Waking up to a sunrise like this is what it's all about. Even here at Love's, where I slept well last night, I usually stay at Love's as it's open 24-7. It has clean bathrooms and their parking lots have video surveillance. Again, a great place to gas up, get some munchies for the road and a cool, refreshing beverage. But I gotta admit, the view this morning is quite the sight. Okay, it's time to hit the road. So it's off to the BLM free camping area at the Grand Canyon South Rim. As the miles slip away and the scenery changes, I appreciate the wonders that I see and my heart is filled with gratitude. Well, my dashers, believe it or not, I am on my way to the Grand Canyon. Now, this has been such a huge, huge bucket list item for me. Um, I gotta tell you the sunrise right now is unbelievable and I'm gonna be working from um, a boondocking spot for today and then I am going to catch the Grand Canyon at sunset but you got to check out this freaking awesome awesome sunrise look at that sunrise oh my god so beautiful. As I bask in the morning sun, I realize I'm a little low on gas. So I pulled over at a gas station in the city that's close to the south entrance. And yep, this happened. Elk enjoying breakfast without a darn care in the world. You see, you never really know what you're going to see out here on the road. And I got to tell you, this is amazing. But amazing doesn't even describe the free BLM spot I'm staying at. Even though there's not a soul around me, I had to make sure I had an open spot for my solar and my Starlink connection. It is July and the temps were in the 80s. I was still able to be very comfortable with my tent and a few fans. I'm so glad to have had the tent in the back as there were several bees that kept me on my toes. But I had all the comforts of home right in the van. I had internet to work, a bathroom, water, cooking area, fridge, and a place to change and relax. Not to mention a comfy bed as the temps were in the low 60s and to me, that's perfect sleeping weather. I spent the last uh, two days here. So I got here early morning yesterday. I worked, I set up camp, I worked, and then I spent the evening here. And then today I worked and now my work day is over. So now I'm going to pack up everything 
I'm going to go see the Grand Canyon and then make my way to Northern California uh, where the Cascade Campout Meetup is happening. Um, it starts tomorrow, so I should be there about tomorrow afternoon. I'm so excited. It's about a 12-hour drive for me. Um, that's not bad. But I did want to show you uh, this BLM land that I was at. Nobody was here the whole entire night. So I was like so surprised, but no one. I saw a few cars go by, but no one was here. It was so quiet and I took some awesome, awesome night photo pictures. And when the moon actually went down, it was so pitch black that it was so beautiful just to see all the stars because there's no ambient light from city here. So it was just amazing and there was not a problem here. Um, I was here by myself. There wasn't anyone around at all. And I'll show you just that. So how do you get here? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me show you as I leave this site. I did have to travel a bit away from the main road as I needed a clear spot for the internet to work. As you can see from this time lapse, there were several turnoff sites to be had, and the road was compact gravel. I believe a large rig could get back here without any issues. Of course, I wasn't speeding, but the pop holes were small enough, and the scenery from the drive did not disappoint. So apparently this is a ranch where you can get some horse rides. Okay. And now, this is the no camping zone from that grade on forward. And you'll see the little signs that say no camping, no camping, no camping. So once you hit that grate, anything past that, you can camp anywhere. It's BLM land. But there are tons of signs that say no camping. And here's the main road. So anything from here to that grate, you cannot camp, and anything past that, you can. So once you see this, the Apache stables open, that's where you turn. And this is where you turn, 64 and McQueek Drive. This is where you make a left-hand turn when you're coming in, or a right-hand turn when you're coming out. Okay, and this this is the main entrance. Boy, that was quick. So I'm going to get my Military America's a Beautiful card out. Okay, Dashers, guess what? I made it. We're going to Mather's Point. So we can check it out for ourselves. I still can't believe that I made it here. I wanted to take this trip with my mother and we even discussed doing it. But sadly, she's seeing it through my heart and my eyes and that's okay. As I gaze at this wonderful canyon, I realize how, just how small I really am. There's so much out there to explore, and I am only just scratching the surface. But I gotta tell you, I'm grateful for the journey. Guess what, Mom? We made it.
to show you just how far the BLM land is from here. So this is the south entrance. Obviously we're leaving, so oh, slow down here. Unbelievably humbling to see just what nature and God can create because that was amazing. Now, granted, I didn't come during the busy time. Um, you know, the gift shop wasn't open or the visitor center wasn't open, but honestly, I, I couldn't have asked for anything better. So now we get to chase the night and that's okay. <laughs> 